Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. It's fair to say you are a outdoor enthusiast. I try. Yeah. I, uh, what am I trying to say? When it's really cold, I like to stay in, sleep in. But, uh, you know, we're getting to that time of year when you should have a little pep in your step and go out and enjoy the sunshine. We might have a little this weekend. I know that's a dark shot, but the point is we're trying to see if it's still snowing in the mountains, and I don't think it is because that's the Killington camera. The radar doesn't really see too well there, but we had flakes earlier, so uh, I think for the time being it's a little bit quieter, but there will be more snow over the weekend, both tomorrow and Sunday. Merchants Row always love this shot at night downtown there. Couple weather headlines, weekend snow showers both Saturday and Sunday, many gusty days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday too. Generally talking about a 30 mile per hour gust, but they, the gusts may be at more like 40 miles per hour on Sunday, so very noticeable. And then the brightest day is easily Monday. I, I don't think that's gonna change. Pretty cloudy the next two days with only breaks of sun until we get to Monday. So white face at the lower part of the mountain is 17 right now, 18 in Plattsburgh. A lot of teens in the lower 20s. It's a uh, fairly, well, mild mid-February night. The average low is still about 13, 14 degrees, and we're not quite dropping off that much tonight. So maybe a flurry, but uh, wanted to draw your attention to what's going on. See, those are the flurries in the mountains. But this band here, I think, is a little more important because it's a lake effect band, and it's pretty heavy. Now it's thin and it's not really here yet, but as we go along, it's going to pivot north and south. So especially for northern New York, but usually the tail end of the moisture from these bands kind of skips over the valleys and then gets squeezed out again in the Green Mountains. So that's how we'll get more snow showers over the weekend. We are missing somewhat of a storm tonight. It's snowing a lot in Pennsylvania, almost into New York City, but that'll keep on moving off to the east. So you'll see here there's a few snow showers, especially in the mountains tomorrow morning. Little bit of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, and maybe we get lucky and it's two or three hours of sun tomorrow afternoon. That'll be pretty nice. I think it's a better chance in Springfield or Brattleboro, but that pretty much goes without saying. Usually it's brighter down there. And uh, then as we get to Sunday, the clouds fill back in. Here comes the lake effect band. You see it coming off Ontario and really directed at northern New York on Sunday. So most of the snow is there on Sunday. Some of it will sneak into Vermont. And then by the time Monday rolls around, we're generally dealing with a lot of sunshine. It's just a quieter day on Monday. Can really get out and enjoy the blue sky. So this map here adds in both weekend days, Saturday and Sunday. Two to four inches additional accumulation from Lion Mountain to Titus. Four to eight over Mount Marcy, but Lake Placid and Saranac Lake in that two to four area. Uh, random dusting to an inch in the Champlain Valley. I don't think it's much there, but you see the Green Mountains in that two to four category. A lot of central and northeastern Vermont could see a dusting to two inches, a couple of threes as well. But certainly you see the Green Mountains highlighted even to the south, and that's because some of that lake moisture from Ontario is blowing right at us. So when the air goes up over the mountains, those are the sweet spots for the snow. So a, a little in Rutland, but really more so the focus would be up at the mountain at Killington. And uh, just for good measure, the gusts out of the northwest tomorrow. But see here what happens on Sunday, 30, maybe 40 miles an hour out of the southwest. So the real bright weather is Monday and Tuesday. Cold on Monday, 34 on Tuesday, 40s by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Brian?